Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Oh. Wow, yeah. Kind of weird. Actually, yeah, we can see all of those. I wonder where the end of the game is. I'm thinking it's probably like here-ish. Actually, can you see that? When I select that, does it show up? Like here. In that little corner next to all the other ones. Or maybe down here in, in this area. Because, like, it would make sense that if if we're going to the land of the vampires, Veros Words. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it seems... Yeah, we're going on a quest. Gabriel like a quest more, quest. His arrival, most fortuitous. Man, would Patrick Stewart just do anything? The outskirts of the vampires' territory. A cold winter has gripped this land for centuries, driving out the inhabitants to warmer climes. You know? Those stubborn enough to stay have contended with the cold death that visits them each and every night. So it's cold and the vampires love it. Away forever. The vampires thrive in the who cold is, is he and writing this for someone? the living who crave warmth and companionship. Like... This night a warrior will come. A knight in shining armor with death at his side. <laughs> he comes for you, creatures of the night. Silly. Yeah, like, is... Does he know that this is being read? Is he writing this for somebody on purpose? Obviously, we want to get our Patrick Stewart money, but... Why take a horse? You have the boots. Then again, the boots don't let you really go that fast. Like, I feel like I could run faster. <laughs> the way that the snow appears on screen made it look like his eye just uh, wigged out there. Okay. Whoa. Oh, we got gobs. Get out of here. All right. Very scoop up. Interesting. You know, when you think about like a medieval guy, like seeing a, uh, a fairy or a butterfly rather. The, the fairy makes sense, you know? The medieval people were pretty stupid. Cool. Yeah, I gotta say, the mechanisms of, like, hey, you're cool, fun ammo is, like... That, wh wh why this again? Chupacabra stole your shit. Fuck his ass up. Yeah, see, I kind of, I, I figured that something like this was going to happen. Okay, so what exactly does that do for us? Not a whole lot. It'd be kind of interesting if you could do the whole rest of the game without your gear. I wouldn't want to do it, but that might be cool. Gabriel, baby, please. There's a thing that I've noticed here and there where, like, this game still has fixed camera angles in an era where, like, that had really gone away. And I feel like most of my problems with control come from just the fact that it has fixed camera angles in an era where that's not standard. Like, the rule of fixed camera angles is that you'll keep going the direction you're going as long as you don't change the direction on the stick. So if you, like, move 
uh, your position. Like, if you're going left to right on a screen and then the camera changes so that you're going up and down, even if you continue holding right to go right, you'll still be going up because you haven't moved your position. You know? That's generally how it's supposed to work. Um, the issue is, is that, like, when you're doing that on the PS1, back when, you know, th that was far more standard, it made more sense because you were playing it on a D-pad, you know? Um, did that say Warthog or Warthog? Because that'd be kind of funny. Warthog. That's all right. Perhaps now I can break down the door. Crazy, I know. <laughs> I like how it says let him do the rest. We done on you? Uh, numerous sightings of chupacabras. They're not deadly or malicious, but a nuisance. I must get back to the Brotherhood to advise my comrades to gather the fairy blossoms. Uh, chupacabras are fascinated by anything to do with the fairies, and the blossom is a good tactic to distract the pesky creature while retrieving anything it's stolen. Interesting. So far! But yeah, like, playing Resident Evil and having the constant switching of camera when you're, you know, going through a hallway is fine because you're going to be pushing up, down, left, or right. But with a stick... <laughs> funny. Damn. Um, with a stick, even the most mundane and, like, bad sticks, you still get eight directions. Um, and on modern sticks, those continue splitting into, like, 32... I mean, I guess 16 first, but... 16 or 32 like directions okay that's just you're just being a dick now um and it means that like the slightest change of movement on the stick means that you will start going in a different direction and like that's part of why they stopped doing it because most people actually don't like playing with a d-pad like what am I what am I doing wrong here like, even on games that were built for a D-pad, like, um, I mentioned this earlier, but recently played through some classic Fanias, and by classic I mean not classic, but I played through Sodden with my wife, um, and both of us would use the uh, control stick to move Alucard instead of using the D-pad, even though the game was built ground up for a D-pad, because the D-pad isn't as, as good. It's an inferior control si like system. What? what am I doing wrong, dude? What's the take? Oh, God. Okay. He says I'm doing the wrong thing. I want to find out what that statue's for. Because that looks cool. This this feels kind of painful. Hot, hot. Like, what's the purpose of doing it like this? Like, so I can fight these guys again with my with my bad gear? Dude, this sucks. Come on, come on. 
like a weird, gross little gnome goblin, like taunting you and shaking its blood at you, kind of sucks the gravitas out of this game, does it not? What am I supposed to do there? I don't know what I can do, considering that most of my options have been taken away. This is dumb. Like, I don't know if this is game ruining, but maybe it is. Am I supposed to use the fairies? Because I'm actively not using them on account of how rare they're supposed to be. Like, this is dumb. Like, I mentioned that maybe it would be interesting if I got the opportunity to, you know, fight enemies without any of my upgrades, and, like, that might be cool. But, like, I'm fighting guys that have already fought without my upgrades. Without my upgrades. It's not anything new now. Like... Like, it could arguably be kind of interesting to fight, like, a Swordmaster or something without an upgrade, and, like... Hey, rely on your strengths. Rely on what you have by default, you know? In front of you, can you see me? Okay. Why didn't it do that earlier? Oh, God. Come on, come and I still only have three. Well, four, but, you know, like... I'm not getting more. Whose idea was this? Okay. In front of you, can you see me? What? The jump is, is so difficult for no reason. Like it's just a little long and the and the change of camera makes it really annoying. This is terrible. But he's This is miserable. Arm like, this is straight up abject miserable. Like, I commented, like, I don't, I don't like the idea of this mechanic, and I don't like this mechanic. There, God. Stab him, stake him, pierce him. Destroy this annoying little cuck ball. Like, Jesus. So I got my dark crystals. They're useful. Stumbled on an old man who was bewildered and senile, but there was a keen intelligence. He claimed he was a friend, and I he asked if I found the relics. If I had found the relics, he had left for us. I didn't understand. He said he prayed for me and scurried off. What did he mean? But yeah, that was exactly the stuff that I was worried about. And I'm rather annoyed that it all came to fruition. And now the game will freeze. Like, doing no gear levels are all over the place. In something like Metal Gear, they force you to rely back on your classics and just be like, hey, are you good at CQC or boxing? I hope you are. Figure it out, dickhead. And that's cool, because CQC is fun. Um, and, like, having to be like, hey, figure it out, though, is cool. In something like Far Cry... Close to Weigall here, and beyond is the Vampire Castle. One must seek shelter at every possible attack. The weather's cold, sending messages is proving difficult. We seem to communicate that uh, we're to meet in Weigall Village for an assault on the Vampire Stronghold. God help me, but I'm afraid of becoming one of those blood-sucking creatures. Drank all my coffee. Um, yeah. Love a good over-shoulder camera. Hell yeah. We can't hearse now, boys. That was it. I'm kind of annoyed that I missed the stuff. This village, Weigall Village, the last possibly Weigall Village, civilization or Weigall Village. This place of death and cold. It lies not far. Yeah, I'm not excited about having to replay that level. Our next objective. To go back and get the I gems that I missed. Matters to attend to here, matters that could spoil our plans. I will deal with them and try to rendezvous with Gabriel later. 
He has not slept in days, not since the girl. The pain is etched on his face still, but in his soul only hatred drives him. We will not speak of it. He must not know I have seen everything, that I have followed him this far. He must not know I've seen everything, huh? Strange. Why didn't you help me? Or maybe this is helping me. I, I, I don't know how much of this I mentioned earlier, but I did kind of suspect that maybe he killed her because like, hey, she was stabbed with a brotherhood knife. I don't know if I did it. So maybe some other brotherhood guy did. It's the opposite of the opening to Beauty and the Beast. It's what it's like if the French people were portrayed like they are supposed to be. Annoying and unlikable. Thank God that you are still among the living, my friend. The Lycan Lord has been defeated. I will say. I have his power. Now that I'm fresh off the heels of Oblivion. What happened here? It's a lot better I congratulate you version of Patrick Stewart with hair. But these fellows were not so fortunate. Like the Patrick Stewart in ha with Word hair in Oblivion is, is bad. Our quest, the vampire clan have slaughtered this entire village. And I just now, had this weird like thing where I was like, what if it's not Patrick Stewart? That abbey. Like, what if I got like Mandela affected or something? The abbot possesses an ancient I don't know. relic that harnesses the power of the sun. It is said to be capable of Occasionally, I am like. And ooh, I like the sound of that. Ashes. I am like that betwixt of the idea of like, hey, what if I'm actually a fraud and I don't know shit? Them. And like. But the abbot has you know, what if that's not Patrick Stewart? Is just one of those weird, similar thoughts that enters my mind. To deter visitors. What if this man who I've mentioned has been played by Patrick Stewart is actually Patrick, is not Patrick Stewart? But yeah, it'd be, it, it would be weird and or funny if like. He turned out to not be, but that doesn't feel likely. To give the relic to us, it would oh, we could just kill him. We're the good guys, right? Over the Does he have a neck beard? But it won't I just noticed easy. that. Mad like, it looks like the shading on his neck Damn is... Him for not protecting his people. Yeah. He's kind of fucked up. Ghouls. Okay. Ghouls? Oh, gnarly. This is cool. I like doing a, a straight up and down fight alongside this guy. I don't remember this dude's name, and I don't even know if I care. Trying to get fancy. Shouldn't do that. Hmm. What should I? Is it one of these? Grave like a clown car over here. You are dead. I feel like that's a little lame coming from. Oh, that's interesting. See if we can use that statue to block the hole. You can pop light magic to stop poison. There's an effect that I've I've wanted to use and have hoped uh, to be able to use in this game a few other times, but in Devil May Cry, when you pop Devil Trigger, um, you can shake off a grab, and so like if you get grabbed and you pop DT, they just let you go. Uh, they're not undead creatures; their ancestors were human. Oh, died of corpses and flesh, transformed into monsters that dwell in burial grounds and cemeteries, live deep underground. 
Venture outside for carrion. The vomit of the ghoul is poisonous, but can be dispelled with light magic. Shui. So what should I do about this? The men you once were are long gone. Wait, I thought that they weren't men. Or are they like, were they born guys and they turned into these? Somehow. Why don't you do it? Sorry, I'm not fathoming what this game wants out of me. Like, I'm, I don't think I'm supposed to hit the statue. What about this? Is this something? Can this do anything? First, we must stop the ghouls getting in. Wait, so it, am I just standing in the wrong place? Because that's kind of strange. Yeah. I need you to push the statue from the other side, Zobek. Zobek. That's a good idea. Oh, well, thanks. Kind of strange. I figured that, like, I would have to, like, whip it at some point, but I'm not. What is the, what is, what is, what is it asking me for? I need your help with the statue, Zobek. Hold on, I'm coming. Now, destroy this priceless ancient artifact. Oh, boy. They will return if we don't block the hole. Gabriel, if that statue were closer to the hole, we could cover it as we did before. So now we're doing this? We are. Word. I need you to push the statue. I don't know why it's a second so button input. To That's a good idea. Yeah, I know we've done it before. <laughs> I like that it just kills them. Just cause. They will return if we don't block the hole. Yeah, I don't know why it's a separate button input to. You're already dead. Sorry, I wasn't trying to use that to kill them. I wanted to burst through this wall, but... Out of my sight. Can I? Thank you. This camera angle is not great. Although I do say, I do like the way that it, um... Like, considering Belmont's prodigious strength when pushing this thing, you'd think it would be easier for him to call- to knock it over, you know? Hold on, I'm coming! Okay. Cool. Oh, that ain't good. Oh, but it also just wears off. That's fine. Got 
gotta say, when comparing the sword to the to the whip, like the sword has so much less cool of a move set. Maybe just in this game, but like. Rad. You love to see it. All right. That was. Yeah, I feel like they add stuff in this game just for the sake of padding it, and like, it would make sense. It's Konami. I'm supposed to meet here to prepare for an assault on the castle. I have not seen anyone, so I'll rest in the mausoleum. The mausoleum. It's not safe here. Ghouls and vampires for the night for wayward souls, and they don't intend to be caught in the open. Ghouls especially pose a serious problem, and their vomit is poisonous, and I'm low on light magic, which is the only thing that can dispel it. <laughs> Main characters have their own thing, huh? That's kind of funny. Oh, hey. I noticed that there was a th uh, at least two things that we missed prior, although they were now months and weeks ago. So does this give everyone a thing? I know that only the combat cross looks like it fits there. So is it only combat cross users? I will say, it's kind of... I, I again, like how they've hybridized the combat cross and the whip into, like, a singular weapon. And how, like, hey... Word. These are both some of the iconic weapons, but, like, why don't we just specialize and, and turn them into this one thing? Artisan who made the chain and, cro uh, chain and hook tip for the combat cross, Ronaldo Gandolfi, wanted to give more the weapon more options for hand-to-hand, -hand, especially against supernatural creatures of the night. So he designed the stake attachment, which eventually gave the combat cross the nickname of Vampire Killer. My man. So fucking cool. Vampire killer is such a simple word. Such a normal phrase. Power geysers, cool. And yet... Sweet. I think that's also a Devil May Cry move. I'm using this one a lot. So I'm getting a, I'm getting a lot of usage out of that. Cool. I like it. <laughs> it works on him. Oh, and because we have that, we can extend that out now. I wonder if that means that you can use this on the other things. Because there's a couple other um, things that are, like, shaped like that. And you normally need to, like, jack a thing into them. I wonder if you can uh, just use the cross now. Because that's kind of cool. Like found. Missed a weapon upgrade. These are way short. The I feel like abyss. this game's like weirdly front loaded because of how long us. the first the like abbot, few chapters Vincent feel, the Dorin, first few bits. was once a good and kindly man who helped the people of Wygal, but now he has become a Vincent Doran who has holed himself up in the abbey and rigged it with traps of cunning. Do the I people, know anyone named unprotected, that? Have paid not a heavy person, price for like... his treachery. Night has fallen. Is that like outside, another Castlevania character that I should know? We will be open to vampire attack at any time. We must be on our guard. We must work together if we are to succeed in acquiring the relic that the abbot guards. This will help us greatly in defeating the vampiric horde later. <laughs> kind of silly. Okay. Nah, no sprinting, though. This is starting to look like Skyrim areas, and maybe it's just because we're getting, like, early New Tens era snow tech and icy villages and stuff. But, you know. So one thing that I kind of... Oh, man. 
Gnarly. I dig it. So one thing that I was um, kind of going to mention is that um, in some, depending on, on where it is, some people are like, hey, vampires and werewolves are like the same thing. Like, not that they're the same thing, but they're like equal in power. Like, if a vampire were to fight a werewolf, it would be like a, you know, it's a 1-1 one -one matchup. You can have a fighting game with a vampire and a werewolf. Um, but some things choose to have, like, vampires be, like, stronger in some way. Nice. Stake him. Only way to be sure. Um... But in some cases, vampires are, like, the stronger one. And, like, a vampire can, like, massacre a whole bunch of werewolves. Um, I'm trying to think of what does that. I think Twilight does. I want to say Underworld does. I can see a device which may help us open if, it's, if it's a mythology where, like, by werewolf, they just mean a guy who can turn into a dog, then, like, of course they're kind of lame by extension because, like... You know, vampires get, like, sick magical powers and all manner of stuff. And then werewolves are just, like, guys that can turn into a dog, but only sometimes. Cool. It's a very, very Kratos-style kick. Anyway, sorry for bringing up Twilight, but you know what? This is my show, damn you. Um, but yeah, that kind of appears to be the vibe that they're going for here. Where, like, vampires are a rare thing that we haven't seen yet. And, like, Castlevania is, of course, all about vampire killing. The main theme of the first game is called Vampire Killer, as is the uh, primary weapon you use. Okay. Please keep them off of me. Please. This shouldn't be working. I need your help with the crowbar so bad. Damn it. Hold on, I'm coming. Screwed me again, Zobek. Get away from me, you filth. Love that animation. I love when a character like rolls across nothing. It's so cool. Every time. Um Yeah, sometimes werewolves are like these rare, super cool, like deistic manifestations of nature, and then werewolves are just like a sick guy. Like I feel like Skyrim does that where like Yeah, you could become a uh, a vampire, but like Vampires are dime a dozen. You can literally become a vampire by accident. Like, you can literally just get, like, attacked by some sick guy. And then now you're a vampire. Vampire can be born from many creatures. Ceremony ex involves the exchange of blood between the host and the soon-to-be vampire. Vampirism has to be accepted by the recipient, so it remains exclusive to intelligent creatures. Interesting. Yeah, I guess it'd be like a thrall or a ghoul if it, uh, uh, if it was something else. Lowest rank vampires have the form of a bat-like appearance. Over centuries, they become more powerful. Vampires appear more human-like and are able to transform at will from hideous creatures into human form. One can usually ascertain the power of a vampire uh, by its appearance. Any vampires that are totally human are usually powerful and dangerous. Uh, these vampire warriors show the signs of being recently turned and cannot hide the fact that they are low-level creatures bent to the will of the vampire lord. Cool. But yeah, like, I do like the vibe of, um, sorry, I was pushing the wrong way, of like, hey, it's a Castlevania game, everyone is starting this game second one with the full expectation that, like, Help me with the as you wish. Go through to the other side. I'm trying, dude. I'll do my fast run. Cool. Cool. 
Now what? Don't have the key. Get out of my sight. I noticed that behind my camera there are two gauges. Come back and help you now. Yeah, I like that both... Because in some cases, like, they want to have the vampires look pathetic. Um... Like, you want to have a pathetic-looking vampire to oppose, like, your cool, regal, like, awesome-looking werewolf. That bastard abbot has protected himself well. We need two keys bastard to abbot. get out of here. It's funny. Um, don't have the key. Oh, should we, like, yank the crowbar out of here, I guess? We're... Sorry, trying to think about other things happening. Um, in things where they want the vampires to look lame in order to make the werewolves look cooler, they usually make them look all like gross and creepy and skeletal like that. You know, weird skinny bat guys. Um, again, like I think of the Skyrim vampire lords who are supposed to be cooler but still look pretty shitty. Uh, I was really excited to run down that cool hallway with the camera all close. Wow, that's impressive. Hurry! Prop up the next slab. Support the next slab before we are locked in here. This is interesting. This is kind of cool. Zobek, quickly move forward and hold the next slab. Quickly, or we die! That's rad. I also really appreciate the good shows of upper body strength from both from both men. There is one of the keys we need. In terms of like actual challenge, that wasn't that hard, but like that was kind of a cool spectacle. I kinda dug that. Not bad, you know, not bad at all. Like, we finished with this thing. Now we move on. I I am far more okay with things that take up my time that are like that, you know? Though, if it was like a really hard QTE and I was having a lot of difficulty with it, I guess I would probably have more offense taken at it. But like, God, chasing around a chupacabra is like really unfun. I'm just... I'm not sure if I can quantify why. But yeah, to finish my topic, I like how they both have like shitty, yeah, like grimy vampires. But like, because we've taken such a long path to get here, even those like crap vampires are still like cool, super badass, like mega warriors who are really scary. Because by this point, like vampirism is rare and vampires by their nature can think. Which is something that I feel gets underappreciated about Castlevania. Um, that, like... You know, yes, the game's about killing vampires all the time for real every day. But, like, in every Castlevania game, depending on the game, like, sometimes you only kill, like, two vampires. Should, am, am I not jumping on this thing? Is that not what I'm doing here? It lets me jump off. What's happening here? Because I'm allowed to jump off this way. My thought process is that I should be trying to land on that thing. Hmm. Um, I can figure this out later.
it's been 40 minutes and that's usually what i like to have my episodes at uh so until next time i've been alfred this has been castlevania lords of shadow thank you for coming i hope you had a good time i hope you have a good day uh i've been alfred see you guys next time bye